Hey everybody, I hope you guys are out there and safe. So I am in Los Angeles. I grew up in this city, but even though I grew up here, I am no longer used to their car dominant culture because I've lived in Asia, Hong Kong for so long where you can just get around on foot, on buses, on trains. You know, LA, they have these things, but it's quite hard to take public transport because they're not that good. So I am gonna try to live a more eco-friendly and healthier lifestyle by riding a bike anywhere in Los Angeles. This is the new Urban Utopia Carbon e-bike and it is awesome. Let me power this thing on. So it has a fingerprint scanner. So this uh, e-bike has a 250 watt motor. That gives me a lot of power, so watch. I'm about to go up this hill here. It's not gonna be an issue at all. This is a pretty steep incline I just went up. Hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return of the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. So this is my new favorite gadget that I've been testing. This is the Ortopia Carbon E-Bike. So the name is a little bit funky. Basically, Utopia with an R in there. The brand stands for Urban Utopia. It's, as you can see, it's a pretty big bike. You know, I'm 5'10", and this thing, the seat goes all the way up to my hip. There's a smaller size that you can pick, but I chose the big size. And it's completely crafted out of carbon fiber. So that means it's really lightweight, even though it's such a big size. This thing weighs only 33 pounds or 15 kg. So I can lift it up with one hand really easily. So the wheels are relatively large and they're connected to a Gates Carbon DNC belt. So this is much better than a chain because it's lighter, it's cleaner, there's no grease and it won't come loose as easily. So this is a single speed bicycle with a 250 watt motor inside powered by a 360 watt hour battery that can power this bike for around 30 to 60 miles depending on how much you weigh the terrain you're riding on and also the riding mode if you're using more electric assistance then obviously the bike will consume more power so i'm going uphill right now very easily because i'm on turbo mode The thing is because the bike is so lightweight and you have such an efficient belt system with large wheels, that means even without any electric assistance, this is a really easy ride. So even if you run out of power, you don't have to worry. You can still ride you know, easily like any other bike. So you have a pair of disc brakes on the front and back wheels and they're very responsive. The 360 watt hour battery is here and is removable, but you can charge the bike without removing it right here, or you can just remove the battery and charge the battery separately. So just on a fundamental level, Utopia has gotten all the basics of building a bicycle right. But there's a lot more to this bike. Like I said, this is an e-bike, so there are a lot of smart features. For example, this bike turns on and then locks fire this one-touch fingerprint scanner. The dot matrix display will turn on and now this bike is on, ready to ride. This button also doubles as a voice command. If I long press on it, I can give it voice commands. Although this part is a little bit wonky. It doesn't always work, but we'll try. Speed up. Ah, it worked. So when I say speed up, it jumped up one level. There's four different riding modes. So you have one, two, three, and you have turbo mode. So as the name implies, turbo mode will push the bike a little bit faster. You can get up to 20 miles per hour, but you still have to pedal yourself. So it will assist you, but then you still have to use some of your leg muscles. And the good news is there's a torque sensor in the back that will detect how much power you're putting into the pedals. This is something that's only reserved for higher end electric bikes. A lot of cheaper bikes would not use a torque sensor. So on the left side, you have these arrows here. Pressing up and down will increase or decrease the speed modes as I showed you earlier. And then of course there's a companion app that's available for iOS and Android. So it's called the Utopia app. And from here you can connect the app to your bike. So once connected, you have a couple of benefits. You can remotely control your bike from afar. For example, let's say I've parked this bike in a bicycle parking lot with 2,000 other bikes and I can't find it. I can turn on beep mode and this bike will make a sound. So this will help me identify the bike. This app is also where you set up the fingerprint scanner. You can also adjust the volume of the sound, all that. The bike will also keep track of my ride via GPS and also show me the stats 
after each ride. So you see my last ride, I rode two and a half hours, 27 miles and I burned 410 calories. So overall, the Utopia Carbon E-Bike, it's a very impressive package. This thing retails for 2,700 US dollars. Now I know for a lot of my viewers who are used to watching content on smartphones, they might scoff at this price, like $2,700 for a bike. But that's actually very reasonable for an electric bike made entirely of carbon fiber. All the other competitors with similar features actually cost more, over $3,000. So that's about it for this review of the Utopia Carbon E-Bike. I love this thing, I've been riding it everywhere. The motor is so strong that I can go uphill inclines without even needing to work my quads that much. I mean, it makes me feel a little bit lazy, but you can always lower the power and ride it like a normal bike. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to not own a car while I'm in LA and just get around on a bike, live a more active, healthier, more eco-friendly lifestyle. So that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more stuff coming up. Thanks for watching. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return of the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never lacked.